Okay, we're going to do a quick video here about uh, confidence monitors, how to configure that, and um, how we use ours at the Upper West Side. We kind of simplify things, and so I just want to show you um, how we build that out and uh, where you can find all that information. So, if you go here to Window, um, the various stage displays that you um, set up will be available here in this drop down. You can see I don't have any set up here, so we're going to make one. So, if you go to Configure Stage Display. And this is going to give you all of your options. Um, so you see a lot of stuff on this confidence monitor. There's a lot of, a lot of things here. Um, so we're going to take some a bunch of stuff off. Uh, we want to keep the current slide, but we want to lose the current slide notes. We want to keep the next slide, but lose the next slide notes. We don't need chord charts. We are going to keep a clock, which is this clock up here. We're going to keep a video countdown. This video countdown is good for the band. Um, when they are up there, they can see when a video is about to end. So if you're in church news or something like that, they can watch when you're getting close to the end so they can be prepared to play. And then we're going to use, um, I don't prefer the time elapsed. I'm going to use um, a countdown number one. And we'll take off the message stuff here at the bottom. So I'm going to move my uh, countdowns around uh, if it'll let me and uh, this is how we configure ours so you can create these boxes to be um, whatever you like and size them however you want um, we make our current slide fairly large and our next slide is almost the same size I'm going to make this a little smaller. This is a bit of a finesse job the first time you do it. Then every time after that, it is already set up and ready to go. Um, so this will alert your team to the slide that's coming up next. We can probably make these a little bit. As I mentioned, it's kind of a guessing game. So. Um, then I would make these fit your top, middle, and right side. Keep them about the same size. This countdown on your right is going to be what you're going to put up for your pastors. So they'll have a clock here on their left to know exactly what time it is. You've got a video countdown in the middle. Um, it, in which case, right now you watch it. You're watching it. Um, count down my motion background and then you can name it here and let's call it Liberty Confidence Monitor you can call it Union Square or Brooklyn or whatever it is um, and then you close that now when you go to um, one of these windows here you can actually look at the stage display window it'll show you um, it's giving you your current slide and then your next slide it tells you the current time video countdown and then when you put a countdown clock in here which you can find um, from uh, your clocks which are well, they only have it in six up top so uh, view clocks so your countdown one, if you want it at five minutes and you start it, now when you go to your stage display window, you'll see your countdown clock is running here. Um, two things we're going to, oh, you want to overrun this too with the clock. Two things we're going to do here to adjust this confidence monitor one step further. Um, I forgot to do this. When we configure our stage display, we make our current slide size font a little bit larger. We make that 80. And then we make the color yellow. So they're different, different colors. So now you'll see um, the current slide is yellow and the next slide is white. Um, we're going to say use negative color when they overrun the confidence when they overrun the clock we can put that to red so that they can see that 
and that should do it. That's how we configure our confidence monitor, and that's what you're going to see. Hope that helps.